Happy sunshine, family. We're getting into some interesting stuff now. This is document number 147. It was submitted by Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe into the Eastern District of Tennessee at Knoxville uh, Court Filing Systems. And this one is a standing order to cease and desist. So let's take a look at this. The United States District Court, Eastern District of Tennessee at Knoxville. United States of America v. Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. <clears throat> Number 3-17-CR-0082-002. Honorable Thomas A. Varlin, Chief U.S. District Judge. Honorable C. Clifford Shirley, Jr., Chief U.S. Magistrate Judge. Notice of filing. The defendant, Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, hereby files standing order to cease and desist. Respectfully submitted, signed by Francis Lloyd, Jr. And he certifies that a copy was electronically filed. Original instrument. Now we got more golf pencil here. We have another case number written in that lists the initials for Deborah C. Poplin. That's right here. And then over here it looks like uh, correcting the case number for the Deborah A. Robinson. This is the identity hearing from Washington, D.C. that they're referencing. <clears throat> this is a standing order to cease and desist. One, <clears throat> duly filed, served, and noticed in conjunction with the standing declaration of dishonor and honor with issue date of February 14th, or Valentine's Day, 2018, restated and incorporated here by reference as if set forth in full, issue date February 14th, 2018. You can go back and check out the video where we read through uh, the document that she's referencing here. And what she's saying is in this little space right here, uh, just put that whole document, repeat it right here. This is to Deborah C. Poplin and her all caps counterpart. She's the clerk of courts and all of her principals and agents thereof. It's also going to Thomas A. Varlin, the district judge, C. Clifford Shirley Jr., the magistrate judge, James Overby, the U.S. attorney, the replacement for Nancy Stollard Har and also to the assistant U.S. attorneys, Cynthia Davidson and Marie Sfalto, and also to Randall Keith Bean. <clears throat> Copy, for all to rely upon. Roman numeral two. Due basis for this order to cease and desist is as set forth in article Roman numeral one above, restated, and documents 18, 43, 54, 55, 56, 98. This is that big price of pay, 98. 101 and 102 restated. So all of those documents are just restated right here in this white space. <clears throat> in all caps, you are hereby ordered to cease and desist forthwith from colon. Any and all proceeding and actions in the above referenced case and action, effective immediately, dated February 21st, 2018, signed Heather Antucci Giraffe, printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. <clears throat> Certificate of Service. I certify that on February so initially it was 15, that's crossed out, 21, and Hat J initialed the correction. 
I certify that on February 21, 2018, a true, accurate, and complete scan of the foregoing original was made and caused to be electronically filed. Notice of this filing will be sent by operation of the alleged court's electronic filing system to all alleged parties indicated on the electronic filing receipt. Alleged parties may access this filing on said electronic system. February again, 15 crossed out, 21st, initialed hat J, 2018, signed Heather Antucci Giraffe, printed original Heather Antucci Giraffe. And another certificate of service from William Thomas Ferguson with a thumbprint, William Thomas Ferguson III, dated February 23rd, 2018. All right, and that takes us through document 147, the standing order to cease and desist. All right, if you have any emails for me, any comments or questions, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. We'll be back really soon. I love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.